Hi guys, Justin Brown here. If you're unfamiliar with Periscope, it's a great way to interact with your audience live online. Unfortunately, at the time of filming this video, your videos are removed by Periscope within 24 hours after recording them. If you're trying to grow an audience on YouTube, or if you don't want your social media followers from other platforms who aren't on Periscope to miss out on these videos, then there is a way that you can actually save these videos, including all the interactions, the comments, the hearts, from using Periscope, so that you can share it across other social media platforms. So really there's two methods here that I can show you. The first is much better as it will create a great looking 16 by nine or widescreen video, but it requires screen capture software like ScreenFlow. The second method, which still works, but isn't as good. So you'd use it if you don't have your screen capture software is we are screen sharing from the iPhone to your computer and recording the phone screen from the computer. The example Periscope I'm using in this video is a Periscope by JB Glossinger from morningcoach.com. He's awesome, check him out. All right, so once your Periscope's complete, you want to click upload to Periscope so that that way it's live on Periscope for 24 hours. From there, you can share that link. So click share, then copy link, so you can email the link to yourself to get it onto your computer. So now we're gonna jump over to your computer. Open up ScreenFlow and choose new recording. And we wanna record from color LCD in this case, which is my laptop screen. And I want to record the computer audio. And we'll hit record there. Now we're gonna open up your web browser and paste in the link to the Periscope that we copied before. And you'll see there is JB Glossinger's morning coach scope from this morning. Now we choose view, enter presentation mode, which will make it full screen and hit play. Well, good morning, everybody. Ready to go. See everybody's coming in. Good morning, good morning. So there you go, you've got the Periscope coming in now. You've got the hearts coming in on the right. You've got the comments on the left. The whole thing is recording as a widescreen video that will be ready for YouTube. Okay, so once your Periscope is finished, you can stop your ScreenFlow recording. Now back in ScreenFlow, you can resize the video if you need to, to make it fit how you want it to look on YouTube. When you're finished, click File Export to save out your file, or click File Publish to save direct to an online platform. Okay, so method number two, which isn't as good, but still will give you a pretty good result at the end. You connect your iPhone to the computer using the cable and open up QuickTime Player. Now from here, you go to File, New Movie Recording. Now on the little drop down arrow next to the record button, you want to pick iPhone, you also then want to pick iPhone for microphone, so it's going to record the audio from your iPhone. And on a quality, make sure you pick maximum, so you're getting the best quality picture through to your computer. Now you should see your iPhone screen on screen. Okay, so the next step is to turn on do not disturb mode. So that way, if someone calls you, it's not going to interrupt your screen record here, or if you get any text messages or um, emails or anything come through, there'll be no notifications on the screen. So select manual at the top, and silent at the bottom. Click the record button to start recording this window. From there, you wanna open up Periscope and find your latest Periscope in there. Again, we found JB Glossinger here. So what you'll end up with here is just a vertical video as your end product. So when you upload this to YouTube, this is what it will look like. It'll have the black bars on either side and all your interaction is exactly as it was on your phone. So you've got the comments and the hearts morning, all there everybody. on top of your video. Go. See everybody's coming in. Good morning, good morning. Hey, hey, hey. Once your Periscope is finished, click the stop recording button in QuickTime. From there, you can save your video by clicking file save and you're good to go. If you found this video useful, make sure you share it with your friends and click the subscribe button in the bottom right corner of this video. If you wanna see more videos, check out the YouTube channel. Also check out videoeditingcoach.com and make sure you subscribe there as well. We'll see you soon.